Good morning, happy 1st of August. It is currently Monday morning and I'm finally picking up the camera again to give you a little house update. I wanted to do this a lot sooner than I am, but unfortunately I've had a heavy few weeks. Um, I had my nan's funeral and I was hit down with a horrible, horrible illness for about 10 days and it just completely wipes me out. I'm never poorly and yeah, it just completely... Oh, it was awful. So I'm just coming out the other end of that now. In fact, today is the first day that I feel human, that I've managed to step on my yoga mat for at least three weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm just literally just got to my house now. I am working today. Um, so I thought I would just quickly come and film a little house update. So obviously I haven't done as much as I would want to because of my illness and everything, but um, there has been lots of progress. So firstly, I have just spent weeks now just taking, peeling wallpaper off the walls and I'm finally, think I think I'm finally there. There's just a few little sections that need to be uh, finished. So all of these kind of walls all had wallpaper on, all up the stairs all upstairs, all this wall, all in the kitchen, absolutely everywhere there was wallpaper. Um, so I have scraped, scraped, scraped that off and um, yeah, we're nearly there. I've just got to sand everywhere now. I've sanded a few walls, this wall I've sanded. But yeah, I'm just gonna sand it and then paint it. So hopefully that shouldn't take too long. And then if you watched my previous video, you would have seen that this wall here had an old fireplace in which I ripped out and I have had it now boxed in and plastered, which is great because now it's a whole new, nice, smooth wall. And he also was kindly enough to um, plaster this section here as well because if, I don't know if I filmed it, but I found a massive hole there as well. So he's filled that in and uh, plastered that. So that's just ready to go. This just all needs sanding all in the kitchen. Now this rubbish here is my old kitchen because I'm gonna show you now my new kitchen. When I say new, it's not new, it's still old, but it's so much better. Look at it, I'm so happy with it. So I had the kitchen man in last week. He replaced all the tiling, he replaced the worktops and he changed all the doors and handles, gave me a nice new sink. Um, and yeah, I went for this kind of like sagey green. It looks quite gray in this light, but I promise you it is like sagey green with the black handles and then like the wood effect worktops and the nice white tiling. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Obviously it's nowhere near finished. I've still got to paint all the walls in the kitchen and do all the flooring, get a new oven and everything, new kettle. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with how it's looking already. So that is one good thing. Um, and then on Wednesday, I have um, someone coming to completely rip out the bathroom, replace the bathroom, which I'm so excited about because it's disgusting and I genuinely cannot live. I haven't actually been to the toilet in this, in this uh, house because the toilet is just so grim and I cannot use it. So that's happening Wednesday. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I've done the little porch area. So this had some like loads of weird stuff in it. Uh, some handrails and some old coat hooks and stuff, which I've all obviously taken down, cleaned everything up. It was all black and moldy, painted it all white uh, just to brighten the space up. And then I'm going to put this flooring down in the little porch area. I just thought that would be uh, a really nice way to kind of brighten it up. And then I found this in a charity shop. It's a bit dirty now because of all the dust. Um, but I found this little coat hook thing in a charity shop it was white I've painted painted it black and I'm gonna just put that up and then maybe a little plant on the shelf bit um, obviously just nice and simple as you walk into the house um, and yeah I think that's about it so far obviously this is all my wallpaper work which I've been stripping stripping this room has been painted um, my dad kindly painted this for me yesterday Ooh. and yeah it's looking good I've gone for jasmine white in the dulux range so this is the the color I'm painting all the walls and everything so if it's a bit echoey um, and then I'll do the same in here but I'll do half and half so I'll do half jasmine white half a different color um, 
But yeah, that's pretty much the update so far. Obviously through the week, I will show you the update for the bathroom. Let me just show you a quick before again, just to kind of remind you how grim this bathroom is. Look at it, yuck. Um, so yeah, this is completely being ripped out. And hopefully on Friday, I can give you a bathroom update. So yeah, fingers crossed. Um, there's no problems. He has no plumbing problems or anything. And he says it's going to take about three days. So fingers crossed by Friday, it will be finished or near enough finished anyway. Um, but yeah, that is basically the update so far. Of course, I will continue to take, um, I'll continue to take you along with me as I progress through the house and fingers crossed, hopefully some more exciting stuff will start to happen once big progress is being made. But yeah, anyway, I better go because I need to go to work today. Half three-ish, um, about 20 to four. And I've just finished work. It has been a chaotic day because obviously Cornwall is very much a holiday destination and we have all the holiday people down and it's just so busy at work. Um, I also had to deal with the rudest person I've ever met in my life and honestly it threw me because I've never been spoken to or just experienced that level of rudeness so it um it was crazy oh my god I'm so unfit so many hills in Cornwall um but yeah this evening I have just booked myself in with my sister to get my hair cut so uh, I'm looking forward to that but I'm gonna go home make some food because I am starving having this tomato gnocchi um, and all the veg there's onion garlic mushrooms courgette broccoli tomatoes uh, some mock vegan chicken pieces and I've literally just put it in a ve with a, the vegan um, chicken stock and then I'm gonna put um, once the gnocchi is cooked I put that in there add nutritional yeast and honestly it goes so creamy and delicious so yeah that is my very very quick tea tonight Good evening, it is now Tuesday evening, so the next day. Um, I didn't end up filming anything else yesterday evening because I literally went to my sister's, had my hair cut, although you can't tell because I've shoved it up. Um, chilled at hers for a bit, came home, watched the Love Island final. Davide and Ekinsu, I knew they were gonna win, although I did actually vote for Tasha. Sorry, not sorry. Um, anyway, done that, went to sleep, and then today I've just been at my house doing all the boring jobs so I didn't think I would share with you because honestly it was just more wallpaper peeling, sanding, all of that boring stuff so nothing exciting to share. Tomorrow the bathroom gets started though so hopefully I can share a few clips um, as that gets ripped out and replaced. But today, tonight, let me try that again, this evening we are going to go down to Lou which is just a nice little Cornish town. Um, I'm actually filming this on my iPhone, but I thought I would just share my little outfit. So this is Zara from years ago, literally like five years ago. This is Primark from uh, a few months ago. And then these jeans are from Zara as well. And I have actually rolled them up because they are super long. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm gonna wear for my little evening stroll down by the beach. <laughs> Okay guys, it is officially bathroom day. Um, I have been working on the house today, hence why I'm covered in paint and dust. Um, but I've just been doing all the boring stuff again, preparing the walls, filling in holes, taking down wallpaper. I'm sorry. I know you're probably getting sick of me saying that. Um, so apologize, apologies for that now. Um, but I'm getting there. Just, oh, I can't, can't wait till I can just paint. Um, anyway, bathroom man has just gone. So we had a bit of an incident. I was actually at work and he gave me a call and was like, I've had an accident. I'm going to minor injuries. Uh, and there's blood all over your house. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, don't worry, just leave, just go, just go. Um, so he's okay, he's just come back and he's just left again, but he has just basically ripped 
everything out so he obviously didn't get as far as he wanted to today because of his accident but um yeah he's taken all the toilet away the bath everything and i am so happy that it's gone so yeah hopefully tomorrow he will have a better day and he can just crack on and start to see some progress so really excited um but yeah right now i'm gonna go home I still don't feel right. I left work early because I was feeling really dizzy and um, I went home, had a little nap, had a sandwich and then started to feel better. So I decided to come here, um, but I'm starting to feel a bit rough again. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day as well. I'm gonna go home, um, make some dinner or something in a bit and chill out, I think, for the rest of the evening. <laughs> anything at all yesterday because I was working all day at the cafe and then I went to teach in the evening so it was literally rush 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 all day um but today, yesterday sorry was the first day that I felt like a proper human being I didn't feel ill I felt energized so yeah I'm on the way up because today I also feel the same I managed to get on my mat um half an hour self-practice felt incredible um so yeah I'm just feeling very weak in my practice so I'm just need to kind of step back and work on building back my strength again after kind of not practicing properly and being unwell for what felt like ever. Um, but I've just arrived to my house and I haven't yet seen what he's done in the bathroom. So we're going to see this together today. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh wow. So already... He has done all the cladding all on these walls. He's done it all around the bathroom. I went funky with the flooring. I wasn't sure whether to go funky, but I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to have funky in anywhere else in the house. So I'm going to go funky. So I went funky flooring. I just need one more pack. Um, he messaged me yesterday, which I've ordered and is coming today. New toilet. Um, going to have a nice big LED mirror there. And then obviously shower and stuff. I'm gonna go here, but oh, it's already looking so good. Oh, and it's so nice to have a new bath. Also, I'm going black and white theme, as you can tell. So like the fixtures, I don't know if they're here. The fixtures on the bath are gonna be black. Um, so like the taps are black uh, here. Here's the shower. Um, so yeah, like the shower thing is gonna be matte black and um that's the shower panel thing like the curtain not the curtain like the shut yeah the shower panel and that is uh, got a black mat on it as well um and the taps which i have no idea which box they're in but they are so nice i saw them the other day i think they're in this one yeah this one so nice hang on let me put you down for a sec yeah so these ones so nice yeah i'm in love um so yeah that is the plan and i also um changed my mind last minute so i felt sorry for him because i gave him more work but basically here there was a radiator and i've decided to take it out and change it for a, a black matte um towel radiator so i always wanted one of those so i was like do you know what i'm gonna go for it so that is gonna go there um, and then yeah, shouldn't be too much longer, I hope. But yeah, it's looking definitely, definitely different than it was. Obviously, nowhere near finished, but we are getting there. Ah, oh, that's made me yeah, me very happy. Um, but yeah, I will update you later. I'll probably come back this evening um, because I've got nothing on this evening. I'm working now. I've literally got to go, but I'm working now, so I'm going to come back this evening and hopefully uh, see a little bit more progress. Hello, hello, happy Sunday. I didn't film at all yesterday. I I can't do weekly vlogs because my life is just not exciting enough. Um, because yesterday I literally went to work, came home, went to my house, worked some more, just painting and stuff. So I didn't want to bore you with that. Um, but it's now Sunday and I've just finished teaching. Well, I finished teaching about half an hour ago. My Sunday morning class. Loved it. Um, and I was literally about to go from there to my house. And then my family just called me and were like, we're going to the beach and then for a Sunday roast. And I was like... Oh, why do you do that to me because I really need to paint the walls so that tomorrow um, the man can come and put in the radiator and the mirror 
but turns out I'm going. So I'm going to go to the beach um, and I'm going to accept that because I yesterday had a little breakdown. I was like feeling so overwhelmed with everything and trying to juggle working full time, getting the house done, waiting for deliveries, just like all these little things were just ticking in my head and I just kind of burst a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better today and a lot more positive and I've decided I just need an afternoon off. So what I've decided to do is go to the beach for a few hours, go for the Sunday roast, which is at the restaurant on the beach. And then um, afterwards, because that's at three o'clock, so we'll be done by at least five. So afterwards, then I'll go and paint the walls because it's only two little walls, so it's not hard, right? So I'll do that this evening, um, ready for tomorrow. So yeah, a little bit stressed, but um, I'm feeling good. I'm excited to go to the beach. It's a beautiful day. I'm good spirits from teaching and I just need some downtime. So that is what I'm gonna do this morning. It's too cold for Auntie Laura. Okay, so it is now a couple of days later from the clips that you just seen. And as you can see, disaster broke loose. So after a really beautiful day at the beach with my family and friends, I went back to my house, this house, my house, um, with my mum and we were like, right, it's half eight, but we'll just paint the walls uh, ready for the morning. So we came in and she hadn't seen my bathroom as it was so far. So I was like showing her my new shower, turned the shower on and um, everything was fine, turned it off and then we could still hear water running. And I was like, oh, that's really weird because it sounds like the shower is on, but it's not. Next minute, my feet were wet. Next minute, the hole upstairs was flooded. Next minute, it was all peeing out of the lights downstairs, peeing out of the sockets. There was just water everywhere. I was running down the street, like knocking on my neighbor's doors, like help me turn the water off because the water, to turn the water off was like stuck or something. So I had my neighbor around with a crowbar, literally like bashing it to try and turn the water off. And honestly, I was, oh my God, I was having like a little bit of a panic attack. I was like, couldn't breathe. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Rang my plumber. He was amazing. He came straight out, found the problem, um, had to cut a massive hole in my wall, found the pipe that had burst, uh, fixed the problem. And fortunately, it's been so hot here in the UK that it's dry already. So... I'm so happy because honestly, I was like, it, I thought it was going to be such a huge problem, but everything's dry. I'm still leaving the lights and everything off just for like one more day, um, but then everything should be good to go. Anyway, um, the bathroom is now finished 98%. Um, he's fixed everything now. The only thing that he's doing is touching up of the paintwork and I need to replace the ceiling light, but guys, I'm so happy. It's everything I visioned and better. Um, and I'm so happy I went with the LED mirror because it's made the world of difference. So let me show you. Okay. So please remember what it was like before. Um, right, obviously it's a very small bathroom. So here we go. Yay. I'm gonna turn the light on because look at my posh mirror. Ready? How cool is that? But look at the difference it makes. How insane does that look? I'm so happy. Obviously, here's my shower. I've got two shower heads. One big one, one little one. And it's all just so good. I love it so much. And then, obviously, I changed this for a nice towel rail. The only thing I do need to get is a door stop. Um, I'm going to paint these. These are like copper, so I'm just going to paint them black. Um, and then I just need to give everything a nice clean, touch up the paintwork and all is good to go. But honestly, so, so happy with it. 
and I'm just so sorry that it took so long to do the reveal but when you renovate in a house you get so many problems that you just don't expect floods injuries everything um so everything takes a little bit longer than anticipated but yeah i'm so happy um especially with my mirror i'm so happy i just decided to go with the mirror um obviously this is like a demystifier button i know i oh what changes the oh this is cool oh wow i didn't even know you could do that that's so cool anyway I'm gonna go and play with my posh mirror uh, another time. But I'm gonna end the vlog here because honestly, it's been a stressful week, a uh, couple of weeks, and um, I'm going away tomorrow, going back to Wickham where I used to live to see my family, to have a barbecue and stuff. So I'm gonna be busy the next few days, but hopefully next week I can crack on with some painting and show you some more updates. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and um, yeah, follow along with my journey and I will see you in another video very soon.